first thing first, I gotta crack open this LaCroix because it's berry, it's really good, and I have to. So, you know. Just right. It's like one of the best LaCroix out there if you're into LaCroix. I know a lot of people aren't, but it's a great way to cut back on soda and also just like have flavored water. It's pretty good. I like the berry one a lot. Just make sure you refrigerate it first. So welcome back to another video. I hope your day is going well. My day is going pretty good. And today we're going to be doing a What's in My Camera Bag 2023 edition. I think the last time I did this was 2019, I want to say. Maybe sooner. I don't know. Or later. Sooner or later. Whatever it is. Before 2019. I don't remember the last time I've done something like this. And I want to start getting back into making videos more consistently. So I'm going to be doing little videos like these. But uh, without further ado, let's hop right into it. Starting off with the bag itself. We got the Dekine um, camera bag. I don't really know what exactly it's called, but it's a 30 liter bag. It's really nice. I've had this for six years now, I wanna say. Maybe a little bit less, five-ish, but definitely a while. I've had this bag really ever since I started photography. I think this was my third camera bag I bought. And it's, I mean, wonders. I've gone through so many other camera bags past this, but this has just been the one that I've always fell back to because it has so many compartments. It's so big and it's honestly way more comfy than any other bag I've had. And I think these are discontinued, unfortunately, but I believe you could find them on eBay for, I don't know, probably like 100 bucks, 150, I want to say. I spent 300 bucks on this, so I'm not exactly too sure on how much they are now. So let's go ahead and start off with the features that this bag has. It has two big side pockets on each side for a tripod or really a water bottle or whatever you want it to fit. It has zippers on each side, like little pockets, so that way you can put stuff in it. On this side, I keep a rain cover for the bag that it comes with. And then here on the front, you have like the waist support to help the back when you're out hiking for long treks, because honestly having backpacks without these, it sucks. It hurts after a while. So having this just really helps your back and helps you support whatever you're carrying. And there's pockets on them. On this pocket, I usually toss my keys into here whenever I am out hiking. So those are like the quick, easy access uh, pockets on the side and I guess the back of the backpack. And now let's talk about the straps. The straps have the classic hook or clip right here that just clips on just normal backpack stuff that you see on most backpacks nowadays. Now moving on to this strap, I have this piece right here. It's by Peak Design. It's a clip for your camera. So I have a DSLR and it's pretty heavy. And if I have it around my neck, like a normal camera strap or hold it in my hands, it gets pretty tiring, especially when I'm out hiking like anywhere between two to six miles or more or less. It's just nice to have a spot for my camera to sit without me really needing to hold it whatsoever and putting extra strain on me. It's just so, so nice to have it for your uh, camera. So if you don't have one of these, I really suggest it. It's really, really nice and it's just so convenient. Like you don't realize how convenient it is until you start using it and you're like, wow, this is so much easier than just lugging the camera around. So I really suggest getting one of these if you don't have it already. Now let's go ahead and talk about these two pockets. So up here at the top pocket, we have first off my earbuds, my wireless earbuds by one more. So moving on from the earbuds, I have the LPE6 batteries for Canon DSLR cameras. I have three of them. One's at home charger right now. This is my backup. And then the other one is inside my camera at the moment. And then I have, I don't know what this one's called exactly, but it's for the Canon M50 batteries. Um, I have two of them. One's in this camera right now that I'm filming on. And the one is right here because it's nice to have a backup. And if you don't have backup batteries, seriously, just spend the full amount for the OEM version and get it because it's just so much nicer having the actual batteries unless you find a third-party company that makes decent batteries go for them that's if you're on a budget and you want to save some money on batteries and that's it for the top pocket on this pocket is where I keep a lot of miscellaneous stuff like right now I have my gloves in here because this time of year it's a little chilly at night and if I'm not shooting sunset that's when it starts getting really cold today's actually a pretty nice day I think it's like 65 70 out so it's perfect slight breeze it's like a perfect day out. And then I got a tripod for my phone for whenever I do TikToks, capturing the behind the scenes, really whatever. This was like 30 bucks at Target, I wanna say. 25, 30, something like that. Jerky sticks, this company I've been working with recently is called Fatty. They have very delicious jerky sticks. I really suggest them. Um, this, I honestly think this is for the Go, yeah. This is for the GoPro, pretty cheap. I never use it except maybe once, but it's so cheaply made. I got this on Amazon. I got like a whole bundle of GoPro accessories on Amazon for like, 30 bucks. But what I'm about to show you next are two good things that were in that bundle. Right here, 
is a chest plate mount for the GoPro clutch, especially if we're making point of view videos. I haven't made one of those in a minute, but if you guys go on my channel and look those up, I use this. And then I got the head strap for the GoPro. It's really nice. I've used it twice. I just don't use it too often, but it's a really nice attachment to have. So those two parts, the head mount and the chest mount were the main reasons why I got that GoPro accessory bag. A little face mask thing for if it's cold, just easy to have wrapped around with you. A little dirty right now, I need to wash it. But if it's cold out, it's perfect. Then I have a microfiber cloth in there. I think I have three in total in my bag. I just randomly have them, so yeah. And then this piece is for the neck strap by Peak Design. It's just another little extra attachment. And then this is where this little piece should go. It should be in here, but it's not because I don't know why. Um, this is the Peak Design bag for the backpack clip. It has multiple attachments, like extra pieces for the clip itself that I showed you earlier. And then I just usually have this in there, but it's not in there until now. So get in there. It has Allen wrenches. I have two in here because I don't know why I have two. I just have two. So the last thing I have is this wireless microphone. It's like a lav mic. It's by Movo. I did a brand new with them, made like an ad for them. And yeah, I actually use this mic all the time. I've been using it in my past videos. That's what I'm using right now. Now, before we get more into the bag, I want to talk about my main camera, my shooter, my baby. This is a Canon 5D Mark IV. I use this through everything. It has a lot of scuff marks because I actually put this thing to work. But on this thing, I got the 17 to 40 f 4.0. I haven't really needed anything more than that. I have been wanting the 16 to 35 2.8 for the longest time. But this thing has gotten me through so many shots and shoots that I needed at the time. Like, if I just ever needed a different lens, I just rent it. And then the filter I have on this lens is a variable ND filter by Go or Gobi. I forget how to pronounce it, but I got it on Amazon for about 40 to 50 bucks. I was on a budget when I was wanting one, so I said, whatever, this one has a lot of good ratings. Well, let's just try it out. So that's what I did. And it's honestly so good for the price. Obviously there are better ones and I really suggest getting better ones if you have the budget for it. But since I wasn't at the time, I just went with this one and it's done me wonders. So if you're on a budget, I really suggest this one or something similar. And then on the bottom of my camera is the clip part itself for that Peak Design clip that was on my shoulder strap. That is what's on here. I keep this on here all the time unless I have to use my gimbal for video stuff. But other than that, this thing just stays on here too. So now let's dive into the bag, shall we? All right, now that we have the bag right here, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and dive right into it. I'm doing it like this because I feel like it's easier for you guys to see what's inside. So as you see, it's blank up here and right here. It's because this is where my tripod goes. I have the open, I forget what model it is, but it's carbon fiber, super light, flips like a travel tripod and it fits perfectly right here where I can just slap it in and be good to go. And right here is usually where I slap the camera. If I am traveling, this is where that would go if I were but for the most part, it doesn't. So now that we talked about the middle section, let's talk about the side pockets. So right off the bat, we got the 70 to 200. This thing is a beast. Its aperture is f4.0. I don't really need anything higher than that. f2.8 would be nice to have, but I don't need it at all. So got the 70 to 200 right here. So in this pocket, got the Mavic Air controller, got the thumbsticks down here, really nice. Super nice uh, controller, actually. I'm really surprised on how well they worked with this one. I know they made newer ones that are a bit better, but I do like this controller. And then in this pocket, got the GoPro Hero 8 Black. I got this for like 150 bucks because GoPro had an insane deal on it at the time. So I was just like, yes, buying it right now. And I haven't used it as much as I would like. I need to start using it more, but it's really, really nice for like quick vlogs or if you're doing action sports, it's good for stuff like that. And then in this pocket, got a little lens cleaner. This thing is actually pretty sick. This part right here cleans like the lens itself, you just like get out the dirt. On this side, you got the brush, you just push out and you just start cleaning the lens with it. Super nice, super convenient, dig it a lot. And then on this one, this is the part for the tripod to make it shorter if I need it to. I never use it yet. I just keep it in there just in case. And then over here, I got my drone, DJI Mavic Air, the first one. I've had this thing for the longest time. I even crashed it, lost it for like two or three days, found it underneath some trees and yeah. I was able to retrieve it and it still works perfectly fine to this day. So DJI, really good job on your Mavic Air. Very durable for the situations it's been in. Even though it's old, I really enjoy this drone still. I would rather have a new one, but for how long I've had it and how durable it is, cannot go wrong with it. And last but not least, in this pocket, we got the Rode Video Micro, right? Video, yeah. Video Micro is by Rode, really nice. Super convenient, it comes right off. This is what it looks like. Well, shotgun mic. 
with Dead Cat itself, suggest on getting something like this and keep it in your arsenal. Now, let's flip this beast around like this and let me show you guys what's in these pockets. So in this pocket, as you can probably tell, are my ND filters for the drone. I don't use them too often because I never get to fly my drone too often, which does suck, but it's super nice. This one, this is what the uh, microfiber cloth came in for the ND filter. Here I got the ProMaster cleaning kit. I've had this for a while. I think it came with my ProMaster backpack that I got in Sacramento. I could be wrong. I've had this thing for the longest time, but it's really nice to have on me in case I need to clean my lens if it gets too dirty after a shoot. And then in this one, this little package right here, these are drone blades, actually drone blades in case they break off the drone itself, but I never used them yet. Zip that up. And in this pocket, last but not least, is extra drone battery. I usually have this on the top where my other batteries are, but whenever I'm not using my drone too often, it just sits right there because it's just a convenient spot for it. So that is what's in my camera bag for 2023. I had a blast making this video. It's been a minute since I made something like this, so I had a blast doing so. And all the products I mentioned in my bag and in this video in general are down in the description below for you to check out if you're curious about the gear itself and want to know more. Also, if you have a question about the gear I use, or photography in general, be sure to comment down below and I'll try my best to answer your question. And before you go down there and ask your question, hit that like. You're on your way down there anyways, just smash that like button, it doesn't take long. And also be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on a future video and hit that bell so you get notified on your device when the new video drops. But without further ado, I am going to go out and shoot some photos because golden hour is about to hit and I'm in this amazing area with no one's all around me. So might as well go take some photos, right? So remember to keep creating, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.